Hi, and here's a simple tutorial on how to create a pulse or a like heart monitor type of effect uh, using motion. So this is what we're going to be creating. So let's jump in and see how we did this. So um, I will open up a new. Uh, actually, I'll just I'll just hide this group here, and we'll just create a new group. And um, we'll call this pulse. And what we want to do is draw into here using our Bezier pen tool, our basic shape. So start on the edge, we'll come across, have a small jump, the big one, and finish. There. Now, as you can see, it's all not crooked or anything like that. So, um, what we'll do is you grab our edit points tool and we'll drag these points around to get them straight. We'll drag around our pulse points as well just to get it looking about how we want it there okay now if we uh, right click on those and you go to smooth we get these handles here and we can begin to edit our curved edge so you want to drag these handles around to get a smooth finish yeah something like that Let's get that a little bit more pointy there and this one here again Right click and we go to smooth and we'll smooth out this here. So we have something like that. Okay, that's uh, good enough. You can play around with this yourself, get it you know, as perfect looking as you like. Um, now we'll go over to our shape and want to remove the fill. We'll change our brush color to our kind of bluish color shape. Uh, I do want to just go back, just edit this point here. Straighten that up. There we go. Okay. I'm happy with that. Um, now we will change the brush that's being used. So we'll go over to our library. And if you go to shape styles and we go to light streak, you'll see we've got a choice of different uh, light streaks here. So we pick one which we think will suit the best. So I think either one or two. Let's go with two and we drag that and drop it onto our Bezier curve there. And now when we play this, there we have our pulse line. You'll see though it's not blue, it's coming up in this kind of flame color. Um, of course, you can actually edit it and change it to whatever color you, you want uh, for the effect you want to achieve you may you may like this color so you actually go over to stroke and you see here that's our color changing over time but what we can do uh, is we can change this to use brush color and then we'll just get the plain blue line like that of course if you want green then you just go over to your uh, um, shape and to the style and you change your color to green. Whatever color you want your heart monitor to be in. Yeah. I think blue looks quite nice. And that's it. Um, you can then render this out as a uh, movie file. You can import it then into Final Cut Pro. Um, 
you can go over to my blog, you can download the actual motion um, template and project file there so you can play around with it yourself uh, if you don't want to make it. And uh, there we go, that's it. So just a short tutorial for today. I hope this was of some use to you. Um, go over to my blog, uh, you can find the address underneath this video and you can download the project files there. And if you found this video useful, please like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up to date with more tutorials for Motion 5 and Final Cut Pro. Thanks for tuning in.